Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing a kid's small gilding. The shirt has been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes. And I'm going to show you how to do a side fan fold or a double side fan fold if you don't have a uh, washable marker. Figure out the spot you want. You got to put your finger on it really tight. You want to loosen up. And you should get a pretty good circle. Uh, depending on how much time you take on it, you can get a really nice circle. But that's if you don't have a uh, washable marker. They make a much better one. But when you first start out, I know from experience you don't have everything you need. Uh, my neighbor bought me my first dye across the street at the start of the pandemic. Just a couple little small containers from the local... Uh, uh, craft store and I didn't have soda ash so the first couple of shirts I did washed them out they were nice and pink so lesson learned <laughs> so we're just going to pleat it the best we can going down we have our little circle on front and we're going to uh, do this all the way up it and it's a uh, actually it's a double side fan fold so And you just want to make uh, your sinew a couple, three times around and pull it nice and tight. The more times you are around, the wider your line is going to be. Not whiter, wider. <laughs> well, I guess wider too if it's nice and thick. Yeah, you can even go a little smaller spaces on there. Uh, I don't know why it went so big on them, but that's okay. Anything works. And I really love my new sinew puller. It beats the closet dial for sure. And a few seconds ago, uh, you seen where I just put it on the table and it wanted to roll off. My table is way out of bounds, and that's where that caddy comes in. Very nice. And if you're interested in one, go see Boarding with Jen. I have a link for her in my description box. Well worth the visit. Right, we're just getting close to done with this one. A couple more times around, a nice pull on it. I probably should, I don't even count how many times we go around. I know there's at least three, sometimes five, maybe sometimes six, I don't know. But three times you should be good. And then maybe a couple more for good measures. Snipping off, off all the excess there. All right, I think we're good to go. Now, this is going to be a hot water irrigation. I'm using uh, Timberwolf on this, and it's going to be straight dye right out of the jar. I got to experiment. I've got it in my bottles already, and I'll be with the soda ash. And I'll be trying those soon, too. But I actually wanted to get this as dark as I could. Because I did put some really chunky uh, lines when I tied it up. Sorry about the blurriness of this. I got to quit doing several so close together. I have three on here. Uh... So you try to, or I try to zoom in to block the other ones out and 
it just doesn't do it any justice with the pitcher. So I've got a Hudson sprayer I'm using, uh, hot water. You should be using roughly around 165 degrees. I don't know what mine is. I just know I can't hold my hand underneath the hot faucet. So that's what I use. But you should start off doing it right. Yeah, so I squirt on here and then go squirt the other one, let it soak in a little bit. And, and if you notice, I did put sodash on it because that was a straight dye. My dye bottles are sodash and dye mix, and you wouldn't have to. Looks like we're going to be sticking some on the bottom there. I'm just going to let the music play in the background. That's uh, our clock. And I usually don't start editing until right after the top of the hour. So, a little extra music. Hmm. And so we flipped it over, added some to the back of it, and a little bit more soda ash. <laughs> and there we go. So this side in real good. The other two I have on the rack there, they were scrunches. Just different sizes. I was playing around with the color. Try to let it soak through a little bit. And your wait time once you're all done is supposed to be 15 minutes. I've never really opened it up after 15 minutes because I am doing other things. So it just kind of hangs out there until the end of the day. So you should have several to wash. All right, I think that's going to be about it. And here it is. It said it's a kid's small gilding. Uh, the colors didn't separate as much as I thought they would because I packed it on. Uh, but I like it. This shirt is no longer with me. It found a new home. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you like it, please hit like. And if you feel like sharing it, by all means, please do. Once again, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.